Okay, hello everyone, it is Suki. And we're gonna jump into Resident Evil 2. So uh, I'm at this menu. I think I think clicking this starts the game. It's a little different from the uh from how the, the demo menu looked. You had the Resident Evil 2 title and everything, but I'm just at this menu. So I just decided to start recording now just in case uh it actually just throws us into some cutscenes. So um some options. I don't think there's anything specific for PlayStation 4 Pro. I do think that um, this game should be running at 60 FPS on PlayStation 4 Pro. And also when I started, it said that uh, the super sampling was active because I don't have a 4K TV. So uh, that's that's active for PlayStation 4 Pro, I guess. Oh, we changed our outfits here. So I, I did get the deluxe edition. It's only $10 more. You get all these alternate costumes. I'm honestly probably not gonna use these because I really I want the I want the original costumes. Those are what I want. I'm not sure how you get these. Probably just by beating probably all four scenarios. I would imagine. Although they do look nice. People have already pointed out Claire should have short sleeves instead of a tank top. I think they just copy and pasted the fact that she has a tank top in this outfit. I don't know. Actually, it looks like a different material. So, no, they just they just decided she doesn't get short sleeves. I guess. All right, let's do it. I feel like most people are gonna start with Leon, just because uh, Leon's been promoted more, and also Leon's been in more recent Resident Evil games, and also. Leon's probably the easier of the two and from the original game I would say. I don't know. I guess I just like Leon's weaponry more than, than Claire's in the original game. But uh, I guess we'll have to see. And also Leon was who you could play in the demo so. Assisted modes for players who are unfamiliar with action games. Aim assist recover a certain amount of health automatically. Really? Enemies are a little weaker. Uh, standard normal gameplay mode and hardcore for hardcore fans of the series saving requires an ink ribbon to auto save stronger enemies I'm gonna go with standard for my first playthrough. I am a very hardcore fan I'd say but uh, I remember how ridiculous Madhouse was for Resident Evil 7 and uh, I did not have fun with Madhouse at all because that that was not fun Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe what you. What is that? Just, is that a story. sandwich? Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking yes, over to is. the bar. And this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know? So I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now. How many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes. Her nose, her whole face, it looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything That's like me. that. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. Alright, calm down, buddy, calm down. Just, hey, you gotta stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink their teeth in the oh, come on. It's just getting good. Now, I've purposely tried to stay away from any Sleep. footage or anything. I just I want to experience everything myself. Oh, shit. I just ran over for some better crap. Nice one. We don't get the the push the zombie through the window. The guy's a maniac. 
Why do you bite me? Oh my god, it's happening. I should preface that Resident Evil 2 is my favorite in the in the series, so I have extremely high hopes for this game. And That's uh, weird. yeah, it's finally happening. We're finally here. Resident Evil 2 remake. We do it. Um. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, thanks for that, PSN. <laughs> okay. I was just getting into the moment. I'm also going to probably take it extremely slow my first playthroughs. See what I can't find all on my own. And like I said, I purposely didn't watch a whole lot of stuff just because I wanted to experience everything firsthand. I didn't want to, you know, experience secondhand. You see all those videos going up early from people who got review copies or just got the game early. I'm just like, try my best to stay away from all that. Hello? Anybody there? Oh, how convenient a flashlight she does there. Something's not right. You think, Leon? There's just blood everywhere. Alright, I can't open my inventory or anything. Costumes have been added. Wait, I can just change costumes mid-game? Wow, I can. That's, that's kind of cool. Uh, no. I just just go back to the normal costumes. We're gonna stick with the uh, the normal costumes for our first playthrough. I might change the brightness up a little bit. Like I know it's supposed to be a certain. I know it's supposed to be a certain brightness for like horror games and stuff, but um, it's no fun when you can't actually see what it is that's happening. You all right? <sighs> Don't move. I'll be back for you. have 10 bullets. Come on, Leon, you don't keep your gun loaded? Oh, I can't investigate that? Come on. In classic Resident Evil, you'd be able to investigate that. Doors locked. Hey, pizza! That is some fake looking pizza. Oh hey look we got we got the um the uh the scantily clad women posters. I'm glad that made it back from the original game. Definitely a lot higher resolution than the uh the normal JPEGs we're used to. 
Did he get back up? No, I don't even care. I'm just gonna go. I don't think there's anything else in here, anyway. What the? Yeah. Or I'm not going that way. They outsmart me there. Don't shoot! Get down! Oh my god, it's the get down line. I'm glad we kept that. Hell man, they even put that recreation back in into Resident Evil Degeneration. You alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later. Man, I like how safe. Leon still has his his oh, bite shit. wound on his neck during the cutscene. Some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Why wouldn't you assume he's a cop if he told you Remember to get here? into a cop car? I mean, no. granted, it's not brother. his car. He's a cop too. But still. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Raccoon City. Although you don't actually spend a whole lot of time on Raccoon on the Raccoon City streets. That's more like Resident Evil 3. This game looks gorgeous. I'm not a huge fan of uh, Resident Evil 7. I have my reasons for that, but uh, the game did look pretty damn good and obviously being on the RE engine this game looks pretty damn good so I'm pretty excited about that what is this the division come on you couldn't get the big scary title read attention all citizens Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. God, this is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Ever the optimist, aren't you, Leon? Leon is just so endearing, especially in Resident Evil 2. It's just like, it's like the freaking zombie apocalypse. He's like, just still like trying to do his here. job as a cop. It's great. What, 
what, wait, what happened to Claire? How, how did she get out? Oh, damn. That looks painful. Claire! Claire, are you okay? Really high pitched. Alright, alleyway. I don't know Shit. if they're gonna hide items. It's everybody. This, They've all turned. It's like beginning run. What does that say? There it is. The station. Wow, that was a really short walk. <laughs> There's like a couple rooms before um, we reach the station in the original. already barred from the first place. What? Alright, whatever. Alright, I forgot to explore this area in the demo. Oh, look, there, that's that's where... That's where Zombie Brad would be if you didn't pick up any items that made to the station. He drops the, uh... the key for the locker. No, oh, thank you, achievements. Or I guess the trophies on PS PSN, huh? There's nothing out here? Really? That's disappointing. I thought be sure there'd be like green herbs or something out here like in the original. Hello? Is anybody here? Wait. I still have the key? also show you any points of interest in items you have found but haven't picked. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I'm not sure how I like that, but okay. The orientation letter. Alright, September 18, 1998. Officer Leon S. Kennedy, on behalf of the RPD, congratulations on completing your training. Your especially high marks are to be commended, and we couldn't be prouder to have you as a member of our force. Please report for orientation at the Raccoon City police station on Friday, September 25th at 8 a.m. We are looking forward to serving with you, Raccoon City Police Chief Brian Irons. I'm sure that is true, Mr. Irons. Why'd you show up a week early, Leon? What the hell? <laughs> all right, all right, Leon, sure. No, I want it. There we go. Why not? It didn't give me an option to discard this. Can I just discard it? I imagine if I still needed it, I wouldn't be able to discard it. So, yes. There has to be someone here. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Send reinforcements. East hallway. I gotta find that guy. Oh, look, my deluxe weapons. 
these are the samurai edges from the uh the first game all right 19 shot capacity 9 millimeter handgun customized with hard steel slide and silver gilded trigger for increased accuracy and ease of use uh, this is the jail model it was a smaller slide stop to reduce catching when drawing I don't know what that means maybe it means your uh, your bloom reduces faster and then the uh, the Wesker model based on a design by Wesker himself this gun has been customized for robust performance and I imagine that's just more powerful um, obviously probably not going to use those in my first runs but that's kind of cool that they're there can I see how this, these look though? Those look really nice though. I really like those. That's cool. That's neat. I, I guess you don't need uh, ink ribbons to save unless you're in hardcore mode. Part of me really wanted to try hardcore mode at the start because it's like, oh yeah, for hardcore fans. But at the same time, I remembered how much of a pain in the ass, um, how much of a pain in the ass, uh, Madhouse mode was back in Resident Evil 7, so. So we already different from the the demo. We still have the jacket on. We didn't even have the jacket on in the demo. So I'm guessing we take it off uh, once we start talking to Marvin. Okay. I like how it's become kind of a staple thing for Leon to start off with a with a cool jacket, and then and then he ends up losing it as the game progresses. Supposed to be a green herb here. You got this. Yeah, Leon, you got this. Now, I remember the first time I came in here, I thought. Wow. Oh, 10 bullets, okay. I thought it gave me one handgun bullet. I was like, wow, thanks. I thought this was like the uh, the room where you do the lighter puzzle and the, the gear falls out. But uh, yeah, there's nothing there to do it. Plus this room should be like a little farther um, up, I think, down the hallway. that or just it's in the same spot but this door definitely wasn't here Before. nice bullet holes in that locker there I just noticed can go this way I don't know. oh I did yeah this were the bathrooms there's a first aid spray in here I think I swear, one of these times I'm gonna open the bathroom stall and there's gonna be a zombie in there and I'm gonna be really upset. It looks like the mirrors don't no, still don't work. Jesus. Ah, I need bolt cutters for to get to that open office. Up.
What's funny is this this is actually there's a lot of censored stuff in the Japanese version of the game, which I find ironic because the Japanese version of like the original like Resident Evil game is uncensored. Oh, the drawings are different. Your drawings are somehow worse, <laughs> I think. Uh, but they are actually a lot more clear than the, than the demo, I guess. Alright, cool. The zombie pops out of here, right? Can I just run past him? Oh, crap. Yep, screw you. Bye-bye. Walk through here again? Oh yeah, I can, but uh, there's no point. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna lead them in here. They can walk through doors, right? Wombo combo knocked me down. <laughs> then the other, the other zombie had time to turn around. I'm still in fine though somehow, which is amazing. I got bit twice and I'm still in fine. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Here. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Yep, Not lost the jacket. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to... What? I thought he showed up a week early. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Hmm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, Uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> What's with all the crap that's just flying around? There's just white specks flying around. Okay. That's weird. Sides boarded up already. I have a lot of first aid spray. I'm undoubtedly going to be using all of that somehow. I'm actually going to turn up the volume a bit on my headset. Alright, what, there was a shortcut in the demo to, to look at the files, I don't remember what it was, that doesn't take that long anyway, but still. 
uh, lion, um, grain, bird, full grain bird maybe. Oh, there's a lion. How did Elliot find out the solutions to those anyway? And if he found them out, why didn't he already have the medallions on him? Okay, that leads to the library, I'm pretty sure. usually come in first that's where you meet Marvin in the original and then he locks you out you have to go the other way around this is not how I imagine my first day actually uh, let me look at that file again It was just sent on the 18th, and today's the 25th. So yeah, I guess we don't actually know the current date right now. And there's no drawer here. I don't know if I've made that th comparison in the, in the demo or not, but there's supposed to be a drawer here that's locked with the small key or I guess the lockpick I guess actually I don't even know if the lockpick returns in, in this game because it wasn't in the uh, the demo actually told me about this if you bump into the zombie he just falls down which is uh, interesting I wonder how important boarding up windows is gonna be Record of events. September 25th, we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of their citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Uh, addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. Uh, September 26, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure of any. Uh, we're not sure if we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. Uh, September 27, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. 12 people died, and there's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray here, David Ford. So yeah, this was the guy who um, who originally wrote all this stuff, and then he he ends up dying uh, at some point, and then Elliot actually, the person who we saw got um, tore in half earlier, is the one who who takes over writing that the uh, the reports or whatever. But in the first one, in the first uh, report. He also makes mention of how all the munitions are scattered around because, um, oh, can I knife this dude? I'm just gonna knife him. 
Let's go. How good is the knife? Is it Resident Evil 4 good? I don't think it's Resident Evil 4 good. That well, it decreased my durability quite a bit. But uh, yeah, he he talks about how the munitions were scattered around because uh, Irons wanted um, one of the munitions scattered around so that it'd be harder for people to survive the situation. So uh, Irons is kind of a dick. I mean, I think we already knew that, but yeah, he's a he's a dick. I don't even think I came in here in the demo. Does that say Jojo? Like, like Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? <laughs> you're totally gonna get up. I know it. You're gonna, you're gonna get up. All right. Do not know the combination of that. <laughs> Somebody, did you get up? Operation report. September 28, 2.30. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed off her idea before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof that there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies. Infest... It's, it's instead infested with giant spiders and giant alligators, so take your pick. But I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about that tunnel, Elliot. I, Officer, I think that's, I think that's Outbreak reference right there. I can't. I think Outbreak file too. I, it's, it's been a while since I played Outbreak. Rookie's first assignment. Eon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is the initials of our first names. Put the letters in order of our desk. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officer's names, but you figure that out much, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Branagh. Scrawled in a corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Well, you're here now, Leon. That's all that matters, right? There's Ford, Elliot, Neil. Ooh, what's this? Uses of gunpowder. Two regular gunpowders. Handgun. Gunpowder buys high grade gunpowder. A shotgun magnum ammo too high grade there's not a lot of ammo left around the station so make use of any gunpowder you find different guns require different ammo so pay attention when you're combining things or you won't get what you need thank you so it's a little bit it's it's like a like a simplified version of um resident evil 3 system why'd you have to get up man r m Alright, I know this is that. M R. He said his name was Scott. Maybe that's his his last name. Although, uh, process of elimination. <laughs> this is how we're gonna do it. Oh, we found it. It was G. Hey, that's fitting. High capacity magazine for the uh, the Matilda, the VP70. Alright, can I lock this? Oh, I can't. Oh, shit. Alright. Oh, it's spelled right this time. In the original, it was uh, it was spelled with two L's. Oh, look, he woke up too. That's nice. Went to go get your buddy. And you got, you got it over here real fast, man. Holy crap. I'm 
I'm just going to take these guys out. Why not? I have a little bit of surplus ammo right now. Alright, it's back up here. Where'd they go? Wait a minute. There was... The, the person who bit me was an officer, not this oh, guy. What the hell? Holy crap, man. These these zombies have a lot more HP. I think I just blew off his face, though, so that's good. Alright. Custom part for the Matilda that extends the clip capacity to 24 rounds and shortens reload time on top of that. Double clip and shorten reload time. No, oh, it only gives me 12 rounds. <laughs> I thought I could cheat the system a bit there. What the frick, dude? Come on now. What the? Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, seriously. Like, I know I can just run at this point, but I, I've wasted so much ammo on these guys already that it, I might as well just make sure they're dead. Alright, here's the weapons locker. It appears the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. <laughs> Oh man, it's a uh, it's a very aggressive note right there. All right, what's still left? 102, 103. That's a knife, gunpowder. 106. I think we can open this. There's some film. 109. Uh, we didn't actually find the the weapons locker key card. That was in the um like the conference room in the demo, but it's not there this time. 208. 203 has the the side pack but uh obviously we need both keys to do that 106 yeah and then um 109 is another one now you might be thinking to yourself well leon why don't you just pry off one of the keys like take the seven key and just put it where the two is or heaven forbid just stick your finger in there man just just do it but no it's not it's not how it works Last time I was in there, um, a zombie burst in. Maybe that was the zombie who bit me earlier. Alright. Maybe I should pull this up. It's right next to the stairs. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs, or yeah, while blue herbs have been long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they have for no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It is well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heightens the herbs effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Um, does that increase your HP? Makes it so that you take less damage? Makes it so you're less likely to take poison? I, I do not know. Uh, truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. Oh, more gunpowder. 
Is there handgun and gamma over here? No. Alright, let's see. Let me... Yep, I'm fine now. Alright. Come on, how did I do my turn? No, there we go. It's uh, it's the circle button. I I said in the demo that it was a, a 360 turn, which would just be me spinning around, but no, it's the 180 turn. Film contains evidence, do not leave out. Okay. Commemorative photo. It's a statue holding a scepter in a book. Okay, thanks for that, I guess. Uh, we can still keep going a little bit more. Is that a green herb? No, it's not. It's just flowers. That's disappointing. Wait. Put some stuff away. <laughs> Is that a picture of a just a, a bunch of flowers? <laughs> so I've got to mention this before, but there, there's just another flight of stairs. There was only two floors from uh, the original game when you came up here. Body stone. Yep. No, maybe I should have left that um, closed just in case it comes back up. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I did not know the, the codes to these. Oh, they give me shotgun shells already. Portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open this safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out and you will need to start the sequence over again. What? Oh, here's the portable safe. Alright. You can examine an item from different angles by selecting it and using the exam. Yeah, thank you. I know how to... Thanks. I, I get it. Alright, one, two, three. Alright, hold on. Alright, you know, this would probably be easier if I just got it like a piece of paper. <laughs> that, that one, that one. Where's this one? Four. One, two, three. Haha, <laughs> I did it! Woohoo! That's actually kind of neat. I like that. That's kind of cool. That, 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 the puzzle's probably really easy if you just, 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 just take the time to, um, just, just write it down on a piece of paper, but, you know. Can I open this? No. 
Alright, so we found one of the spare keys already. That's cool. I'm not sure how much that opens. We, we need both of them to, um... Oh, you, you, you got back up and walked back up the stairs. That's some commitment right there. Jesus. Assume he's dead now. Alright, I'm uh I'm uh do a little bit backtracking to the, the weapons room. That's not the weapons room. Someone got back up, didn't they? Yeah, you're not getting back up after that one. <laughs> Just like I had to kick him out of the way. There it is, safety deposit room. Alright, what do I want? 102 gets me gunpowder, 103 would give me a knife. I already have... My knife still has some durability on it. 208 would give me shotgun shells. Yeah. Alright, we'll do two. Two gives us more ammo. Three will get us a knife. And then obviously both will get us the side pack. It's been like 50 minutes, holy crap. I just realized how different this is. Yeah. Cause normally you come into this room from the, like the conference room hallway. Also, I just realized that safety deposit area, it's uh, it is an area that I remember, I think it's just, it looks way different. Alright, more exploration, let's go. There's actually not a whole lot of soundtrack right now. Just quiet noises. That is some some beautiful art right there. The blood spatters really just make it that much more of a masterpiece, in my opinion. Sounds like it broke into the station somewhere. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. Who's that? That's the library. Uh, there's the C4. Need uh, the detonator, I guess. Some guy's scribblings. Damn those corporate assholes. They cut me off after all I've done for them. But if that's how it's going to be, so be it. I'm going to have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. 
I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and get set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it, and it's Sayonara Suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. You know, maybe I'll kill him. I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you, and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, this is fun. I need some music for this. Okay. Okay. Sure. Nice to know that this hip pouch is still there. <laughs> Carry tw uh, t t 10 items now. Leon, it's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. Is that a green herb? No, it's just more flowers, isn't it? Okay, we already know that this floor breaks when we walk over it. Oh, I get it. So instead of the um instead of the bookcase puzzle to unlock the, the painting that gives you the the chest plug or the, uh, the little plate lit thing, guys, Claire. You're supposed to move it so that you have a place to walk on because this floorboard breaks. Okay, I get it. Goddess statue, goddess arrow snake. No, never mind. This is the unicorn. Where'd he go? Where, where? There it is. Uh, fish, scorpion, vase. I think. Sure, why not? That door's locked. Great. There's a bunch of zombies in here. Fantastic. Oh, hey, a book. Red book. Yep, okay, yeah. I'm gonna catch you later. She'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. <laughs> I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. Alright, we're in new territory now. Oh, let me go get the other medallion real quick. I don't know what I'm going to be using that for. Uh, I'm going to keep the boards on me just in case I find a window to board up, I guess. I have a little bit of spare room right now anyway. Oh wait, let me put these in. That's right. right there watch these actually be like real life paintings and I'm just like completely dissing them 
Alright, you said east side, so this this way. There is a door there. Oh hey, look, it's this room. It's the uh the waiting room. This was a safe room. Um before. Guess not anymore. Look, officer of the month, Marvin Brana. Carly Bear still missing. That's that's terrible. Pooch. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I think that's I think that's irons. It's kind of hard to tell. It was another safe. Wow, there's a lot of safes and lockers and and all that stuff, and I haven't found a single code. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know we are the home of the farthest pharmaceutical giant umbrella corporation raccoon city is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long rich history of its own and this guide will introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer the police station the building is this in the center of town wasn't always a police station in fact it used to be an art museum i guess that's why there's a bunch of art everywhere uh, various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remain remind us of a bygone era the orphanage, just a few blocks from the police station, is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Cool. Are we going to the orphanage? I don't remember where the rest of the space keys are. But there's more windows or more boards. Art room. Oh yeah, it's that room. The red stone. The ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince, the pearl that the queen of the Nile milked dry, the diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There's no end to the number of tales related to the peel of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that once adorned a noblewoman's jeweled box. It is said that it once adorned a noblewoman's jewel, jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during the auction. There sure are to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with care, for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots. I am not familiar with that word. More terrible than Caligula, and we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that the luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. Thank you for that. Oh, hey, look, the weapons locker. Now we can get the shotgun if we want. You know, a liquor drops down from this, like, skylight window, I think is what they're called. Uh, that's in the B scenarios, though. Oh, you're supposed to put the book in there. Okay. the helicopter this is around where the uh, the chief's office should be so I guess we need a valve to get in there all right so there's a couple things we can do now we have the weapons locker key which means we can backtrack and get the shotgun if you want it which uh, doesn't sound like a bad idea to just have Marvin's still hanging in there. I will take the book with us. Alright, I'm actually... Yeah, here's the room, the safety deposit room, the dark room.
safe, lock your terminal. Oh, look, it's all the stuff that we, uh, I guess these are points of interest, I suppose. Use box. That's interesting. The map is a lot more useful than it's ever been before, which, you know, I guess I'm not opposed to. I mean, back in the day, you just, you, you remembered, and if you forgot, you, you walked around and you, you figured it out. But, uh, I guess I'm not opposed to it. I should, I should board up these windows, actually. Let me do that. I'll go grab those boards. I'm not sure how much, how much I'll be backtracking through these areas. Just yet. But, uh, if I have spare boards, I mean, there's already boards upstairs. So I might as well use them. I'm not sure if these boards last indefinitely. Probably not, though. It'd be cool if they lasted indefinitely. Uh, club key. Oh, wow, there's just several windows to keep track of here. Oh, I totally forgot that she's in here. Actually, I'm just gonna keep walking because you missed. You swung in a miss. Swing in a miss. That sucks for you. Totally forgot she was in there. <laughs> Yay, shotgun. And four shells to load it with. I feel like the shotgun's gonna be one of those things that I just kind of carry around in early game with just the four shells you got, and then just kind of. Oh yeah, I, can't, I forgot I can't go back this way. I can go all the way back around. What is that? Wait, what's that? Oh, that's just the door. Actually, yeah, I can open that. There we go. Uh, you can discard items that have served their purpose or any other key items with a check mark by selecting the discard command. So it doesn't actually ask you to discard it anymore like it did to you in the original games. But at least it lets you know when you can discard it. So that's nice, I guess. Can I combine these? Yes, I can. Nice. I guess I could have just went through this way. Totally forgot that this this door was there. Uh, but that's that's cool because um, I think in Resident Evil Seven, once you used the keys, you just you just you had to hang on to them. So it was really annoying. Yeah. Okay. I'm a little confused. I couldn't I couldn't remember which side of the police station was the north side or not. Okay, these boards I guess. Oh, you can stack the boards. Well damn, if I knew that. Whatever. Alright, let's let's slot this into here. Oh no, is a liquor gonna come out of the freaking window when I pick this up? Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Alright, let's get it. <laughs> Alright. I found a scepter, a short staff with a jewel in it. Can I take the jewel out?
Oh, hey, look, there's a switch. Hey, look, the red jewel. Nice. Uh, there's supposed to be two of those. The, uh, the, the, the statue puzzle with the, um, the lion. No, not the lion. It's just a guy going Looks like the helicopter crashed. But it, it's just a guy holding the jewel. Nice. And he's, uh... Well, he's in the way of that hallway now. Oh, hey, green herb. In the original, the helicopter tried to save a police Claire. officer on the roof, Hold on. I'll and be then right there. the police okay. officer got bit and ended up shooting his gun wildly, which shot the pilot, and that's why it crashed. I guess this time he just crashed because he sucks at piloting. <laughs> it's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately... No, but how are you doing? You know, just surviving. <laughs> oh That's my good. god. Yeah. Any luck with your Look brother? at this flirting. This is yeah, adorable. Like Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Claire, you need to go. Now! Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. At least in this game, they make... Uh, they uh, Marvin, we've got a situation here. We're surrounded by zombies. Marvin, not, do you copy? You're not surrounded, you just... Marvin! They're on the other side. Oh, there's a limit to how many ammo you can hold in one slot. Come on. Well, actually, there was a there was a limit in the original games, but it was so high that you almost never reached it. Oh, the bolt cutters. Oh my god, yes. But as I was saying, at least there's a reason as to why they're not sticking together. Oh, we're back here. Because in the original game, it's all like you, you run into each other at the star's office or whatever, and then and then Leon just gives clips gives Claire the radio, and he's like, "Here, just freaking let, let's split up and look for survivors." I'm like, "What are you? Why? Why are you doing that?" Okay, I only have one slot left, and I don't know what else there is to pick up. Oh boy. Here's a, f a flash grenade. Equip on inventory screen to use, guaranteed to daze and stun enemies within its effective readiness. Can be used to counterattack when you're caught by enemy, but its effectiveness is greatly reduced. That's interesting. I'm gonna leave that behind for now. I'm gonna use that. Alright, so there's a herb, there's a flash grenade, there's a zombie circling around. Gunpowder. There's a lot of supplies in here that I just do not have space for. Where do you go? Electrical. Oh, the fuse. I do need that. There he is. Great. Just blew off his hand. Son of a bitch. I was gonna run past. Shit. Part of me just Shit. wants to take these guys out. anymore and he's still coming at me like how are you gonna bite me without a face I'm not convinced he's dead yeah, no. 
Yeah, he's still alive even after that. My goodness. Oh, that opened up a slot for me, so that's nice. Alright, there's flash grenade. Um, gun out. I think he got back. Oh, here's the valve. There's so much stuff. This is a square valve, right? Oh, it's not. It's a, it's a hexagon. Oh. Well, okay. Oh, here's high grade gunpowder. Damn, there's so much stuff in here. Holy crap, man. Hey, he stopped banging, I just realized. Maybe he gave up. Nope, nope, he's, he's there. Oh, it's here. I forgot. Yeah, that's, that's where it is. Up. Also, I forgot I left a bunch of zombies out here. Alright, Marvin. Are we still among the living? I don't think I need this right now. I don't need this right now. I have a lot of gunpowder. And there's even more back there that I left. Marvin, are you are you turning? Still, Still alive. alive. We said that at the same time. We all know it's gonna happen. We've we've all played the original. We've all seen zombie movies before. Flash grenade, uh, more gunpowder. I think they're breaking in. Good thing I boarded that up. Yeah. Man, that's gonna suck. <laughs> that's gonna suck. Actually, uh, where's the map? Where's the map button? What? I left some boards somewhere, apparently. I don't remember seeing any boards, but okay. The press room. This is where we need to go. I'm trying to remember all the, the places I needed the, the bolt cutters at. I should also find a place to stop because I've only almost been I've been playing for like an hour and twenty minutes. Let me go check out that room. By heart. Shit. Okay, I don't have. I'm gonna backtrack and get some health. I guess the uh, the, the copter exploding attracted um, more zombies. I, I guess. I thought it was that fine. Thank you. I know how to combine items. Thanks. All right, I'm not going for a um, like an S rank on my first run, so I'm just gonna use the first aid spray and Q. 
keep the herbs just in case I, I need them for like blue herbs or something. Yeah, we have to go down this hallway. This is the only way because there's a blockade that we we can't bypass. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay. I was not expecting that. Fair enough. Jesus. I did not expect you guys to come to the door. Caution already again. So that's nice. Ooh. Holy crap, dude! All right. I actually have not been able to use my knife defensively at all yet. <laughs> I should probably backtrack for, for an herb, but um not going to. Son of a bitch. Great. Another one. God damn it. You know, this is gonna really suck if this is a one way. <laughs> I just realized. Close! I know they can break in, but if it closes. Oh, I think this is for the C4. Locker room. Um. Cap. Cap? Cap. Alright. Yes, herb. Thank you. Flash. Flash grenade. Actually sure where else I can go at this point. I need to remember if there's any more places I can use my bolt cutters, I guess. Actually I have the detonator, I guess, so yeah, there we go. I'll use this herb. And I'll save. Maybe I shouldn't be overriding my saves, but oh well. Alright, and that's going to do it for, for this, this video. So thank you all for watching. I'm having a ton of fun. Uh, we've been playing for an hour and almost four minutes in game time so far, it seems. I'm not sure if it counts cutscenes because that doesn't seem right because that's 20 minutes unaccounted for. So I don't think it counts the cutscenes, but uh, I'm having an absolute blast with this. And uh, it's... <laughs> It's getting late, so uh, I'm still going to play, but I'm going to take a little break and, uh, yeah, get this uploading. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. This game's so good. I want to play more. Sayonara. Bye-bye. <laughs>